Hey, so today Dad and I are going to do a father-daughter project. We're going to put the new Bilstein shocks on the front and the rear of the Chevy 2500. It's a 2006. The first step is to open the box, and the dogs are helping us to do that. We're also going to be putting on the airlift kit to help with pulling the trailer and lifting the back end when needed um, for that purpose. And we have a winner. So what we're doing is we're using these uh, wrenches, that they're ratcheting wrenches, and so Dad is actually holding, or was holding, the vice grips on the top of the pin, and I'll ratchet the nut. The only reason why we're doing it this way is because I'm holding the camera with the other hand. Anyway, so it's really nice to be able to ratchet instead of reposition especially these work really good in tight spaces and so you can actually see where the uh, nut is coming up off of the top of that bushing all right so we got the nut off the top and this little bushing comes off just like so just like that all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this bolt off right there one on each side. Dad's going to hold the other side with me. And I'm just going to zip it off with the impact wrench. Just like that. Alright Dad, if you want to slide that puppy out of there. Good job Dad. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's easy. All right. Does that mean we're halfway done? <laughs> Not exactly. All right. We're making sure we don't want to lose these bolts and the nut here. Oh, come on. Why not? No, no. You don't want to wanna lose it? I don't want to lose it. We will actually use, uh, reuse the, the lower bolt, um, but the... New Bilstein shocks actually have the new grommet in the, what do they call that? A, um, it's an isolator, stabilizer, stabilizer um, bushing package that actually goes on the top. Anyway. Okay, so we have the old shock off. And there is the components there. And we have the new shock. I have the Bilstein 5100s that I'm going to put on. We have them for the front and the rear. We're doing the front first. This is the front. And uh, these are the components for the front. It's very sim very easy. It's um, you know something that Dad and I are just doing on a, on a snowy day. If you hear some sliding on the snow off the metal roof here, that's what's going on in the background. Okay, so we're going to put the bottom flange on while we're here in the open. And then we'll put this up. And then we'll connect the bottom bolt. Um, actually, we'll put this through the, the top, and then we'll connect the bottom bolt to hold it, and then we will attach that bushing and flange to the top right here, and then put the nut on the top. And then we'll be uh, finished with the top with the front shock. <coughs> there you go. Come on up with it. Okay, it's no. up. Can you push up just a little bit? Okay, a little bit more pressure. Almost there. Okay, it started threading. So we're just going to hold it in place. Does it hold it now? I think it's good. Yeah, I've got yep. just a couple of threads on it. So then what we're going to do is we're going to rest it in the bottom bracket there. Okay. Okay. We got this one just right. But yeah. never under any circumstances do you beat on the shock here at all. Right. And okay. that bolt slid in really good. We It did. Super. And see that jack stand? Always have a jack stand. Yeah. I don't care what you're working on. We got, we got the jack and then we've got the jack stand both. Because even though this is not lifted off the ground, we do have the frame partially lifted so that we can uh, lengthen the suspension. Not only it might not crush your baby pinch your fingers in there. Correct. And if it does go down, it okay. has enough travel that it could okay. cause injury. You, we, All right. So next what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten 
the bolt and nut down. Yep. I'm going to need two hands for that, but that's what I'm going to do off camera. Just tighten that top nut on the shaft. We've got a quarter inch opening wrench in my left hand and a ratcheting wrench in my right. It's actually a 17 millimeter, I believe. We're just going to push that down until it pooches. I know that's a real scientific and uh, technical term. It starts to pooch out a little bit. We don't want it super tight. We just want it to be just right. Let's see how it looks here. That looks really good. Well, another thing I've already done is I've already straightened this cover um, so that it's not um, my light. so that it's not bowing and curling and everything. So it looks nice and keeps the dust out for years to come. All right, so we got the nut off. And I'm going to be real careful as this comes off because it can swing out. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty much dead, so it didn't do much. That's a good thing. All right, and then that one up there. That right there, we're going to pull it out. And I have a helper. Hi, baby girl. Yes, she is. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> you know, these dogs are just, they're so sweet and playful. And they are kind of spoiled rotten. All right. So we got the top part of the shock in place with the bolt through it. What I didn't show you on camera is how I got it in there. It was really tight, very tight. It was hard. And with the, uh, the space constraints, it was very difficult. So what we did is we got this two before right here, and we put it between the bracket, and, and I just levered it and spread it open just enough for that to seat right back down in there, and it seated perfectly. So I'll just put the nut back on there, just finger tight, and then I'll put it on with the wrench. And I'll place this one in position where it goes. Now this one's a little bit longer, so what I'm going to do is actually raise the frame of the truck or try to push this into position. I don't know if I can or not because it's, it's pretty close to the ground. Anyway. Alright, so we have the bolt up there, the bolt down there. Everything is installed. I still have the band. I still have the band around it. I'll take that off and tighten the bolts and torque them to specifications and we're done. Here. <laughs> Get out of here.